In this video, we will cover some advanced concepts regarding the cursors. As in the previous two videos, we have already covered the implementation of implicit and explicit cursors. Now, in this video, we will cover some more topics regarding that like parameterized cursors. As so far in the cursors implementation, in the explicit cursor which we have seen, whenever you open a cursor, the particular select statement will get executed in the memory and will generate an active set. But if I want to pass different values in the condition while opening a cursor, we can go for the parameterized cursors, which will help us in getting the different set of results with the same cursor only. After that, we will also cover for update clause and where current of clause, which will give us some more advanced functionality in the cursors. So rather than discussing here, let's start implementing and see what is all there with these clauses and the parameterized cursors. Right, so in this particular program of parameterized cursors, we can do is right here you can see like while de declaring this cursor, EMP cursor, I have passed a parameter that is parameter for department ID which is of number type and in the same statement where I am searching for the employee ID and last name of the uh, employees from the employees table I have passed a condition for a particular department like here where department ID is equal to that same parameter whichever you will pass so what you will have to do when you will open the cursor Along with the opening, you will have to pass the ID which will go into this particular parameter and will complete this query and then the active set will be generated out of which this loop and this fetching will be done. Similarly, once you are done with first fetching, you can close the particular cursor and then again by the time you will open the cursor again, you can just change the value. So in this particular way, you can make a more productive usage of the cursors with the different values. So let's execute this and here you can check like here I have passed, there's an employee 200, maybe in department 10, 201, 202 in department 20 all right so let's edit that with some new values where i will get some more records let's say 30 60 let's save it close it rerun it and here you can see department 30 has these employees department 60 has these employees all right so that is the main usage of working with the parameterized cursors in oracle plsql so now let's get started with another clause in cursor that is the for update and here is what I have done is I have declared a cursor with the name EMP cursor and here it is containing a subquery along with the for update clause. So let's see what is the for update of clause. Whenever you want to make changes in the records or in a particular table or in a particular uh, field of a table. so you want to make some lock operations in that so that if there is any other user which is trying to update or delete the same record from the table it should not be affected for example if i want to update the salary of all the employees who are working in department 50 so there may be some other user working on the same table may doing the same thing or maybe some different thing so before making the changes in your uh, table or in a particular data, I would like to uh, log the particular records, all right? And for doing that, this for update of clause will come into the picture. So what I'm doing here, I'm just locking this particular field salary so that if there is any other user updating one of the record of department 50 on salary, he will not be able to do that because I'm going to make a lock. But if there is any other user who has logged the particular data before me, then I will get an exception because I have passed the no wait. All right. So it will give you an exception if there is the, those records are already logged by any other user. So let's start it here. I will say begin. And here what I'll do, I'll just say update employees set salary is equal to salary plus 
10 where department ID is equal to 50 all right and let's end it and let's execute it so you see this is getting completed all right successfully but I have not done any commit or rollback all right so let's come to another session and try to do the same same changes all right so let's say I am I'm doing update employees set salary is equal to salary plus 5 where department ID is equal to 50 all right and here you can see it is being bound with a lock it is not getting anything whether it's committed or what all right so it all depends on this particular session whether I'm going to uh, commit it or roll it back so if I'll roll back these changes will not take place but suddenly this action will take place and even if I will commit it again as soon as the lock is released this execution will take place all right so unless I'm doing the end of the transaction here either by commit or by rollback this another session will be on the lock if it would have used the same procedure means no wait he has to wait right but if he will follow the same sequence and it will find that rows are already logged he will get the exception that okay the rows are already logged so don't wait for that all right so let me come here and we'll do the rollback so as soon as I'll do that here you can see 43 rows updated all right so in all the records who are working in department 50 the salary was incremented by 5 and the rock lock is released and here the updation took place so this is how you can start working with the for update clause of the cursors and now let us start with the where current of clause of cursors here is the example for that and let's see what it is doing here so I almost continued with the same example so here what I'm doing it's a salary cursor where I am executing the command like select employee ID last name and salary from employees where department ID is equal to 50 all right and since I'm going to do any, some changes in that I have applied the lock on the salary column like the previous example so here what I'm doing I'm using the for loop for getting the record from this sal cursor and it will be getting the record in the EMP record all right so one by one from the active set of this sal cursor one record will come to the EMP cursor all right and for any employee if the salary is less than 5000 what I'm doing is I'm updating the salary from to 500 rupees in the current I'm adding the 500 uh, any particular currency to the current salary all right so what it will do the command will be like update employee set salary is equal to salary plus 500 all right for all those employees in the active set who are earning less than 5000 the increment will take place but I don't want to make the increment at once in all the records maybe I'm taking some more conditions for putting the different amount for the different employees all right so I want for the current employee for the current record which is there in the active set to which the cursor is currently pointing only the updation should be done in that particular record so for that I have used this where current of sal cursor means the increment the updation should take place only in that particular record where the current of means the current record is being pointed though the condition is may be satisfied uh, by multiple records but all the records should not get updated by a single because I'm executing a loop and one by one all the records in the active set will be compared for example if I'm saying like employees earning less than 5000 salary should be incremented for example this is the record in my table where when I'm saying like for all the employees working in department 50 so maybe all are working in department 50 only all right so these are the records will be which will be there in the 
active set all right now here executing the loop i am saying if the record salary is less than 5000 rupees so in that this this and this these three record will be shortlisted all right and by the time i am making the increment for the first time all these three records will get updated all right means 500 amount will be added in all the three so it will become 2500 it will become 3500 and it will also become 3500 all right now every time when this condition will be satisfied the update statement will execute and again second time the 500 will be added in these three records all right but this is not I wanted I wanted the current record only should get updated so when it I was in there in the initial position so though all the three records are satisfying the condition but the current record which is there in the active set which is being pointed in the active set should only be incremented all right so this is what this where current of clause of cursors in PLSQL will work so when I'll execute you can check as per your current records all right you can feel like the increment is all only took place only once in each record in the active set so this is how you can start working with the various concepts of cursors in plsql